Hey, this is RR from FinSuite, and in this video, we're going over the FinSuite CMS library for Webflow. And in particular, we're going over one of my favorite tools, which is the Load More tool. We're in our Webflow Designer tool, and we're going to go in and input the Load More tool from the FinSuite CMS library for Webflow. Now, what is this load more? Well, we talked a little bit about pagination on video number three, which was an overview of all the tools that you have in your arsenal with the FN Suite CMS library for Webflow. Well, the load more lets you load items from the CMS into the same page. Instead of clicking next, where you go to a different page, it lets, you, it lets you load it onto that same page. So this is kind of a, a different way of pagination. Instead of it going to the different screen, it gets loaded on the same screen. Now, in order for us to do that, let's first of all teach you how we can do pagination, how you can paginate your CMS. So we'll start with that. We'll show you what pagination looks like, and then we're going to see why load more uh, is different, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and go to our Webflow Designer. We'll click the Collection List Wrapper, and we'll click the Gear button. What's cool about Webflow is if you click it here or here, it applies to everything there, okay? So click that one, and we're gonna click Paginate Items. As you click that, you can limit. As you see, two items got deleted already. What we're gonna do is we're gonna just have three items at a time. So we're gonna do item slash page, we're gonna do three. And then now it takes out the other items and it just has three items. We're gonna see what this looks like. So what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna go look at the preview mode. And if you see, once you click next, it shows the next items. And notice the previous button shows up. And then if you click next, you go to the last item so it's just really a list that you're able to instead of have everything shown at once you're able to go to the next item that's what we call pagination what we're going to do right now is we're going to input the load more tool so that instead of going to the next item where the previous three items gets replaced and then they really get replaced with the a new three items the the, the second three items but we're going to go ahead and do load more where the previous three items stays and then the next three items just kind of load underneath it. So your page actually gets longer from it. Now, before we do that, we're going to go ahead and style our load more button. We want it to look nice, right? Well, we do want to eliminate the icon right here because we're not going to have that. We'll go ahead and change this to say load more. And let's add some style into this. So. We're going to go ahead and take out the line. Let's add a radius. Let's make it a nice color, maybe like a, a salmon looking color. Something like that. I think that looks good. We'll go ahead and make the words white. And let's make it a little, let's change the font to something we like. And we'll go ahead and Make it a little bigger. And then we'll add some padding on the button as well. What do you say? Let's add some shadows. That might be nice. Let's add some shadows. Just a little slight shadow. You don't want to put too much shadows where it's overpowering. Just maybe we'll do a 20%. Let's get the blur a bit more distance, a little too far. There you go. Okay, so now we have our load more button. So this is what it looks like. But there's still a problem. If we click this, notice the other one shows up, okay? We'll work on that later. Let's first of all, make sure that the load more button works. So. Now, in order for us to do that, we're going to go ahead and go to our cmsdocs.webflow.io and then go ahead and go to the menu and go to Visual Script Writer. 
And then remember, we're going to put the class name here dot collection list. Remember, that was the name of our collection. And then we're going to click the load more button right here. Now, before we do that, the pagination next button class, what we're going to do right now, we're going to go back to Webflow. And then you see this right here. This is the pagination next button. What we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and give that a name. Okay. We're going to do it load hyphen more. If you notice why I put hyphens on my class names, you don't necessarily have to do that. I come from a coding background, so people like to put, you know, hyphens or underscores because words have to be connected and all that. So we'll do load underscore or load hyphen more. Let's go back to the Visual Script Writer. Period, meaning it's a class. Load more. And then you have some choices here. Load all uh, animation. Um, all that stuff. Let's try some animation on it. Maybe we'll go ahead and do um, some easing. Ease in and out. That might work. Um, let's maybe have it fade in. That could work as well. So let's go ahead and copy the code. Go back to the Webflow Designer. And then go to the page. Click the gear button right next to the page name. All the way down. Paste it on the before body tag, not the inside head, before body tag. And then we'll go ahead and save. Now remember, if we click preview mode, it's not going to work because this is code. You have to publish the website in order for it to work. So we'll go ahead and publish this website. And then let's see what we have. So here's our website. We'll click the load more button. If you notice, it went ahead and loaded the next items and automatically removed the previous button so it doesn't show up anymore. Let's refresh this website. And there it is. If you click it, you're able to have the things load down instead of paginating to the next. Now, if you notice, it was kind of weird that the button doesn't have a... Um, the, the, the press button icon. Well, that's a simple fix. You could actually just go to load more right here and then go down and go to cursor. Instead of auto, you can make it a pointer so that now we'll go ahead and publish it. And then we'll go to our website. Now, when you hover over it, it's a button clicker thing. So we'll click that. Notice everything loads again. And there you go. That is the Load More tool. And that is how you implement and use the Load More tool for your CMS. On the next video, we're going to start teaching how to install the next tool, which is Filter. That's effing sweet.